Knock, knock. Who's there? A knock, knock off. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Summer! Some people say the generic isn't as good as the original, but that is just plain false. Ask anyone who's seen our Brooks and Dunn cover band, Looks at Buns. It's very close. Can't tell the difference. <laughs> no. And today we're going to put that notion to the test with some hilarious knockoff products. It's time to play. Mama said knock you off. I'm going to knock you off. All right. I'm going to show Rhett some name brand products, and he is going to have to guess which multiple choice item is the name of a real yet hilarious imitation knockoff slash generic version of that product. Okay. Okay. If you get four, um, you look sick. Are you okay? No, I'm just getting ready to think hard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you get four more of these right, you get to keep one of the knockoff versions of an item. Okay. Of my choosing? And I think I think there's a couple of these you're gonna want. Oh, I'm sure. Let's get to the first one. Hamburger Helper, mm. AKA your divorced dad's best friend, mm -hmm. is a boxed food product complete with pasta and powdered sauce packets. I'm familiar mm. with it. I ate a lot of those. Hamburger sold separately. Which one of these items is the name of a real life hamburger helper knockoff? Is it Panburger Partner? <laughs> Meat Skillet Associate? Cooking Comrade? Or Unpaid Beef Patty Intern? <laughs> uh, Meat Skillet Associate would be a horrible, <laughs> horrible name. <laughs> Panburger Partner is so close. Yeah. Can they do that? I don't think they would lead with. I don't think you would have comrade yeah. in the title. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's not going to go over too well in America. Now you're thinking. What? Um, so I'm going with Panburger Partner. You're off to a good start. Yeah! Right? It is a Panburger Partner from High V. Look at that. No, that's High Top. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Panburger Partner is no longer in production. Uh, but we're told if you buy Hamburger Helper and hide it in an unsanctioned survivalist bunker for 70 years, you get close to the unique Panburger Partner oh, taste. Oh, okay. Cheeseburger macaroni. It's very woke to use partner, too. I like that. Yep, it is. All right, next one. Mm -hmm. Your favorite Swedish fish are like Ikea for gummies. Mm. Distinctly Swedish, and I've also choked on parts from both. Uh-huh. Which of the following is a real knockoff brand of Swedish fish? Is it A, Norwegian Nauticals? B, Scandinavian swimmers? C, Stockholm sea creatures? Or D, I can't believe it's not chum. Hmm. I feel like I should know these. I know. Because I'm so such a big fan, I let those fish. things swimming right in my mouth all the time. Scandinavian swimmers. You're right! Yeah! But, but were you just guessing? No, I'm just using my instincts, man. Okay, but because I didn't know if you'd seen these in Trader Joe's. There's a Trader Joe's version. They're, um, they're different flavors. Yeah, their fun twist is different flavors. It not only includes fish, but also lobsters and stuff. Yeah. It really does. That's a dolphin? So taste. tell me which one is better, I, since you're the expert on it. Let's go red to red. Oh, red lobster. Huh. Trader mm. Joe's got a sense of humor. It's immediately softer. That's better, right? Significantly softer Scandinavians. What? Swimmers. Swimmers. Incidentally, um, Scandinavian swimmers is also what PewDiePie calls his fans. <laughs> his what? Fans. fans. Man, I hate to say this. Scandinavian, Scandinavian swimmers, swimmers are, are better. better. Yeah, you heard it here. Softer, right. less artificial tasting. All right, if you get two more right, that may be the one you want to keep. Let okay? me fill those up for freshness. In 2012, Lady Gaga, you know her? Mm-hmm. Of her, I know you don't know her personally. No, no. But we met. I know her. I know someone who who um, met her at a party. Yep, I know him too. Lady Gaga released the first ever black liquid perfume, Fame. It has sold over 30 million bottles worldwide and smells of deadly nightshade, tiger orchid, and apricot. Which one of these is a Fame knockoff? Is it A, famous person? B, crazy lady? C Born this smell? <laughs> or D, meat dress sweats? Ew, okay. Remember her meat dress? I do remember that. Famous person, that mm -hmm. seems like a joke. It's either crazy lady or born this smell. 
Born this smell. Too clever. B, crazy lady. Crazy lady? You're going with that? Yeah. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> it's, it's called crazy lady. Yeah, Check it, it out. is. And this is it right here. We're gonna we're gonna smell both of these. Side by sides? Yeah, so first, let's just get a how do you open this? That's the real one, right? This is the real one. I'm just gonna spray it in the air. That smells that smells high dollar. I can imagine. Uh, what's her real name? Uh, Joanne. Stephanie? Stephanie. I can imagine. Oh, yeah, Joanne was the album. That was who? Stephanie her mom? smelling like that. Is that you or the. Is, that, not, is that you? It's, no, it's, I don't have Crazy Lady on already. I think I got some of you in, the, in a whiff, or else it just really doesn't smell good. <laughs> I didn't think it smelled that different. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Now it's, that you're not mixed in with it. It's not bad, but it's not, it's not as good. Yeah, it's just a little bit crazier. All right, now we settled an Oreo controversy in a recent Ear Biscuits podcast oh, episode. I present for that. But now let's expose a ripoff. First off, Oreos are actually the shameless knockoffs of an earlier cookie called Hydrox. Yeah, you're not supposed to say that. It doesn't matter, though, because Oreo beat Hydrox to a bloody pulp in the fair free market competition. Yes, it did. Capitalism! So, which of the following is a knockoff of the knockoff which is Oreos? Is it A, Saucero's? B, Choco Pucks? C, Cream Betweens? Or D, Chocolate Flavored Sadness Food? Chocolate flavored sadness food. Cream betweens. Yeah, cream betweens. Cream betweens. Choco puts. That's my favorite one to say. Cream betweens. What you think? Cream betweens. <laughs> you you going with cream betweens? Yes, it's so <laughs> stupid. It's got to be right. It is right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they went with cream betweens. Yeah, man. I mean, it Choco could've... puck. The other two didn't really make sense. It could have been Foreos. No Rios, Oreo, no we didn't. Anything but cream betweens. Cream betweens. But you know what? You know what it is? It's cream betweens. Oh man, four out of four. You're going for the cream sweet. <laughs> the cream. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, how many are there total? It is an unlimited amount. This is gonna go on for days. Okay, all right. Oh, this is the never ending episode? I've been yeah. waiting for this! Hello Kitty is popular worldwide and her image has been slapped on more products than you can shake a trapper keeper at. For example, we found a Hello Kitty knockoff brand alarm clock. Was that copy of Hello Kitty called Hello Cat? <laughs> Hi there, kitten. <laughs> meow, meow, little kitty. Or Good morning, dead possum. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking about that because it was one of the, sh the names we considered for this show. Crazy lady is giving me a. Headache. The only reason we didn't go with Good Morning Dead Possum is because we couldn't get a dead possum. Right. They were it's, all scraped it's up. It's harder than you think. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't fail me now, right? These are all bad. <laughs> These are all bad. What are you leaning towards? Um, I'm, I'm, learn I'm, le I'm learning. I'm leaning towards Meow Meow Little Kitty because that would be a better name for a toy. It's kind of wordy, though. But... Hello Kitty Saying is happy. If you really, if you really, really want to get the Hello Kitty people, you want the word hello in there. So if that's legal, I'm going with that. Hey, Hello Cat. Everything's legal here, Rhett. And you're right. It's, <laughs> it's Hello Cat. Yeah. We, look, we got it right here. Look at that. It's a little smaller. But um, it doesn't, you can't see it from the outside. It's also a lot cheaper. This one's sixteen dollars, and the other one is this one is forty dollars. But hey, you get what you pay for. I, I mean, think. that shouldn't be, that shouldn't be legal, man. That's the same freaking thing. Well, the the color's a little bit off, and if you have a smaller desk, like end table, this one this one's actually better. And this got that. Oh, That's, you know what? I got, I got a new rod for my conspiracy theories. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a little bit shorter. <laughs> I mean, is that the snooze button? How does that even work? Well, I think it gathers the radio frequencies from the air and consolidates them and transmits them into this so you can listen to FM radio. Now, you get to only choose one of these as your prize, so uh -oh. you're going to be torn between the two. You can't have both. Very much so. 
Deep in the freezer section of the grocery store, you can always find breaded fish sticks. Are you a fan? Yep. Which of these items has a somehow worse name than fish stick? <laughs> Is it fingers of the sea? Fried swimmers? Crack sticks? <laughs> or mercury poison? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Crack sticks? That is C, yes. Your option for C is crack sticks. And fingers of the C makes the most sense. Like chicken fingers. But crack sticks seems so wrong that the only reason that you would put it in there is if it was right. Crack sticks? You sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You're right. <laughs> crack sticks. <laughs> they freaking called the ripoff of fish sticks crack sticks. Yeah, from Findus. Find us. Find us. We're In the ones who make crack sticks. <laughs> <laughs> you, you'll find us. We didn't buy them because that's the commercial. It's for a it. federal offense to purchase those. Find us some crack sticks, <laughs> please. And I got to have it's them. It's just people together <laughs> saying that. Six out of six. I yeah. can't believe you got crack sticks right. And I got the cream between. Okay. And I'm... All right. This is the last one to, for the cream sweep. I can't believe it's not butter. Is a low-fat vegetable oil-based butter substitute that claims to taste like the real thing. Which of these is a generic substitute for this infamous butter substitute? Is it A, memories of butter? <laughs> <laughs> B, taste like butter. Uh, mm -hmm. C, butter, it's not. <laughs> or D, wow, I totally thought it was butter. Oh my. Memories of butter is incredible. It's kind of sad. When you, you know? eat it, you get memories of butter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not butter, but it does enable you to access those memories. I don't think that's it. I don't think it's memories of butter. Oh, wow. Tastes like butter it is a better marketing. I want to eat that more. It's very on the nose. But butter it's not is more consistent with the original knockoff, which I can't believe it's not. Again, you're trying to find something that is in the original that you put into the knockoff. It's got all the words minus two. So shorter. I don't, I don't know. I don't feel super confident, but hopefully for the cream sweep, I'm going with butter, it's not. You're going with butter, it's not. Yeah. Well, the cream sweep has happened. Yes! And it would have anyway because, you know what? They are all <laughs> imitations. So I can't believe it's not butter. Look, wow, I totally thought it was butter. Tastes like butter. Memories of butter is real. And we have right here, butter, it's not. Right From there. Kroger. Yes. Oh gosh. So let's taste these and see which one you think is better. While you do that, I will mention other brand names include, I'd rather not call this butter. You can run, butter you can't hide. Thanks, butter no thanks. This is butter AF, don't at me. <laughs> butter not look at the ingredients. And I can believe it's not butter, but my wife can't. Which one do you think tastes better? Well, I see that you had toast that you wanted me to put it on, I but I'm yeah. just doing it straight. Screw that. Oh. Oh, this is so much better. I can't believe that's not butter. That's Well, this is the name brand, oh. not butter. That's why it tastes so much better. It's, I mean, butter. Way, way, way better. All right, there you have it. So which one do you want to choose, right? I mean, because listen, you earned it, man. Hey, you know what, you get all three. I get all of it, man. That's, I'm gonna dip my rod into some butter. Don't forget the crazy lady. Oh, well, well, well. You want some crazy lady? Yeah, give me some crazy lady. You go. You're racking up today, man. You earned it. Ha 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 I'm gonna start doing that at the end of every one of these. <laughs> Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Rhett, and I'm Link, and this is the Good Mythical Morning Panel at Porkon, Maine. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. That was confusing. Click through to watch us taste. Prongles. Yeah, these. And to see where the will of mythicality is gonna land. Wear a different mythical tea every day of the week. Head over to mythical.store and pick your favorites. Hint, it's all of them.